The Smoking Gun, full disclosure, the NASA Curiosity rover location by the Gell Crater. If you go to google.es slash maps under the Mars section and you zoom in to the top left corner, the Gell Crater, you will see a base with solar panels, satellites, the works, even the wiring that connects the buildings. I mean, this is incredible. I've never seen anything close to this good. And what's interesting, when you go to Google Earth, as you can see, let me zoom out of this real quick and just give you a full comparison. So here's the Gale Crater. And I'm going to put it in a comparison next to, you can see they're the exact same image. Okay, these are the exact same locations. On the left, if you go to Google Earth slash Mars, if you download that software, and you go to the same location where that base is discovered, you can see up here, I would say about the 11 o'clock position, right around the 11 o'clock position. But if you zoom in on this one, it's not there. It's completely wiped because it should be right around here. And they completely wiped it. There's nothing there to see. Now you can see also just a little bit southwest of that location where they have this ridge here. The Curiosity rover picked up some very interesting anomalies. Remember that picture I showed with you guys a couple days ago? It looked like a spider creature, a giant Spider-Man creature coming out of a cave. That's where I've got it um, bookmarked or thumbtacked right there. Creature dubbed Martian Spider-Man. Well, this red line is the Curiosity rover. And that's right in between these two. To the right, you'll see that there's high-resolution images from satellites. In between, you see yellow knife, it's in between here. So if we zoom in, let's zoom in right here once again. And then we'll go to the left. A little bit more details in some of the areas, as you can see, that weren't scrubbed. Isn't that just interesting how it's like, I think, so here's what I see, folks. I see somebody forgot to scrub this part out. Somebody made a mistake. They uploaded it. They didn't scrub it. It passed them, passed the filtering system. So it's available to look at. But it was scrubbed over here to the left, Google Earth slash Maps. And also, if you go to the U.S. Google Maps, right here, oops, right here, then you're going to see they scrubbed it out here also. Whether you're looking at it via infrared, visible, or elevation, it should be at about the 11 o'clock position, and there's nothing there. Nothing there. Now it's completely blank just because it's uploading. There we go. Now, if this was you know, another thing that I find fascinating about this anomaly, this base, is the location. Because it's in total proximity of the Curiosity rover. And there's some images still available directly from NASA's website that you can go to that there is a shadow perfect outline of somebody in an astronaut suit working on the rover. Multiple pictures. And I'll share that with you guys. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find it right now. 
Well, I'll pull that up for the next podcast. I want to look at some more details. Let's let's move this out of the way and let's let's look at some more details here and make this a little bit larger. You'll notice that there's wires that connect from the satellite to the base. There's wires from all the panels as well. Here, let me try this out. Let's do this instead. There we go. Be the ball. Be the ball. All right. That should give you guys a good perspective here. Now, I, if you go to, like, Antarctica, there's pictures that are uploaded from, like, Costa Rica. That, but, you know, like people are like, look, there's palm, springs in it. there's palm springs in Antarctica. Look. Well, that's user error. This right here clearly looks like it's in the right spot. I mean, you can even see the roads or, like, around the base. You can see the wiring. Let me zoom in on this even more. You can see the shadowing, high details. I think this got leaked. I think this is soft disclosure right here. This isn't an alien base, though. This is ours. This is definitely ours. You can see extremely good detail. The cooling systems. Everything's wired together. The electrical grid looks very stout, looks very solid. This reminds me of that uh, decommissioned base where I've got my compound out there in South Dakota, X Point. I got that 2,000 square foot bunker. Well, it's an abandoned military town. And the when you come into the town, to the left, there's a, a hospital and electrical equipment. And a lot of that area reminds me of this, built very similar. I'd like to get an architect on the show and maybe they could describe to us in detail what every piece is on these rooftops. And look at the amount of solar power that they've got going on. Very smart. You can even see you can even see the paths. I mean you can see where they go around, they've got their equipment, they go out to do work on, you know, and maintenance on their gear. And this is from 2017, folks. You can see the mark on there, 2017. This is brand spanking new. I wonder, I wonder if Elon Musk's rockets are the ones that ship this stuff out there. I wouldn't be surprised. wouldn't be surprised one bit. That is just too cool for school. That is off the hook, you guys. Now, I know what the naysayers are going to say. They're going to say that this was filmed in Greenland <laughs> or Arizona or Utah somewhere. Or they're going to say it's all CGI. And it's CGI so that NASA could put this out on one of the Google websites so that an alternative researcher like Wayne Steiger, which Wayne is the one that d discovered this. I think one of his listeners found it and shared it with him. And then I saw it and I said, wow, I got to go with this. So thank you, Wayne. He's going to come on the show here in a, in a short time, I think next week. And we're going to do a podcast on positive thought, thinking specific thoughts at a specific time and what type of influence that could have on the world for the 11-11 event. So make sure to join us next week. It'll be live. They've got an entire network out there, you guys. No wonder the Curiosity rover is where it is. They put this next to the Curiosity rover. There's a lot of stuff out here that they're researching that they're not sharing with us, like that Spider-Man dude that I showed you guys the other day. Somebody said it looked like a, a cave with an animal skin covering it as a doorway, and then somebody looking out of the door or, or out of the doorway. And I could see that also. Or it could be some giant spider creature with a weird head. But it's definitely something. It's not natural. So you guys can see that directly from NASA's website. You can see the astronauts' shadows directly from NASA's website showing these astronauts working on the Mars Curiosity rover. 
Well, they're just down the street. It's not that difficult to get to the rover when they've got a base up there. They either did an extreme, somebody did either an extremely good job playing a joke on us, or this is the real deal, and somebody made a mistake by not covering it up. Somebody is going to get fired. <laughs> wow. That satellite is great. That's one hell of a satellite. I mean, look at that thing. All wired. Everything is wired to a T. Mega transistor boxes on top. I think you can tell it's built very solid. Highly organized. You know, we'll zoom out again. There's the crater right there. Let's do a side by side comparison. There we go. And this is from the one that's black and white here. This is from America. So it's like they scrub more stuff out in America, the, the land of the free, home of the genetically modified. All right, let's see here. And then, where's window one? All the way over here. Right there. This one, the, the one to the left. Let me make the size about as close to exact as possible there. So just so you guys can see, I want to show you, you know, once again, let's go back here. And let's look up in the same area around the 11 o'clock position. Right around here is where it should be. There's absolutely nothing there. It's all been scrubbed. Dingo Gap, the Kimberly, Cooperstown, Rock Nest, Glenelg. And the creature dubbed Martian Spider-Man right around this ridge right here. See, it's interesting because you have a lot of detail in here that you're not going to see over here, right? Unless you go into this image right here, which is actually from the high-rise, the high imagery resolution experiment, satellites in going around the orbit of Mars that are from Arizona University. The detail there is really good. Got some interesting sand, and obviously that's not real color, some sand dunes and such. Cool looking sand dunes. And that's what we're seeing right here as well, right? So we're seeing this right here. And then we go up, just get a comparison. Okay, actually, we want to go to the left. So let's go to the left. On this side, let's go to the left. It should be right here. That's where it should be. Now, the question is, maybe the image that we're looking at from Google Earth slash Mars is not from 2017. This is an older image. This is a brand new facility, you guys. This is brand spanking new. You can even see 2017, Google. 2017, brand new. They didn't scrub it, and guess what, folks? It's right there. Right there by the Spider-Man creature, right there by... The, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the Chronicles of Riddick. <laughs> Maybe that was Riddick back there. You know, Riddick escaped. He's, he's hanging out in the caves, and that's a doorway that looks like a spider, some animal skin, and... And he doesn't need a spacesuit because he's Riddick. How about that? <laughs> oh, man, that's, that is just so awesome. I am so excited for this find. I want to thank Wayne again 
and whoever else discovered this so that Wayne could discover this. This is as good as it gets. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Clandestine Time Lord, also leakproject.com. We have exclusive content, over a thousand podcasts, downloadable, streamable, ad free, 10 bucks a month or 50 bucks for the whole year. Or you can listen to the shows at youtube.com slash Clandestine Time Lord for free. We just have some exclusive content, plus they're streamable and downloadable at Leak Project, and that 10 bucks a month definitely helps Leak Project grow. So thank you. Be excellent to each other. Be the change you want to see.